Folks, you're not gonna believe this, but I'm here with the amazing Robert Schultz, who is the Assistant Director of the Counseling Center at Pepperdine University. Here we are, how are you? I'm great, thanks. Thank I, I heard you were fantastic. Fantastic is how most people describe me. See, I knew it. Now I have some questions for you. I'm gonna try and keep them down here so you don't look. A lot of folks, when I interview them, Okay, let's say I have a test tomorrow, 10 a.m., I'm out with friends. There's nothing wrong with a little Adderall late night to study. You know, some students do experiment with Adderall, you know, different stimulants when they're in college. And, and they do sometimes get some short-term sort of benefits of it. The downside of it, though, is that oftentimes they have negative reactions to the Adderall. They think they're going to get this increased concentration. They think they're going to it's actually gonna increase their performance, but in fact, sometimes it overstimulates their brain to the point where they're anxious, they can't focus, they can't concentrate, and in the end, it doesn't benefit them at all. What? I thought it was like, you know, how it helped Barry Bonds. Like it would help me excel and do so well on my tests. Yeah, really, we always advise students, you know, to make sure that they, they meet with a medical doctor first that they have really valid reasons for taking stimulants before they would ever try you know, any kind of prescription medication. Now let me ask you something. What's the best way to beat peer pressure? During my college days, some folks would bother me, try this, try that, uh, but if I, I go ahead and I tell them I'm a rat, right? So that I don't want to get beat up. What's the, what's, what should I do? Most students will respect if you, you choose to kind of go a different way, if you choose to say no. But oftentimes students fear that they won't be accepted, they won't be part of that social group if yeah. they do say no. And some students have no problem with that. Other students, you know, it's a skill they have to learn. They don't really know how to stand up for themselves. And so sometimes we teach them that. Right, I mean, it reminds me, there was one time there were a few ostriches that were trying to force this hippo into this lake. They said, come on in here, chubby, come on in here. And the hippo was like, I'm not having any. I watched this unfold. And the ostriches, they just went about their business and they later ignored it. So I realized one could do the same thing. They could just sort of ignore it and, you know, I'm going to do my thing, you do your thing. But that's okay too, right? It's okay. Right. Like, I don't have to give in to any sort of peer pressure. Right. I like that though. Ostrich, like, assertiveness training. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much. Now, as assistant director of the counseling center here, uh, at Pepperdine University. Uh, are, would you be the perfect person for me to go to to find out where I can get good drugs from? Probably not the person where you could get good drug, drugs from. Okay. I probably would be the good person to figure out, like if you want to take a better look at what's going on with your drug use, to really kind of have a conversation that's really you know, non-judgmental. I'm really going to hear you. I'm really going to kind of try to understand what's leading to your drug use. Um, we would be the kind of people that could have that conversation with you. Excellent, okay, but definitely not, you're not gonna point me in the bad direction. You're no, gonna help I'm, me. I'm not gonna be able to hook you up. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, a little lingos with the hookups. See this? Now, I'm going to shoot you some questions here. This is my rapid fire section, where I'm just, I don't want you to think, I just want you to answer away. Is that okay with you? I can try. I'm just gonna, Ask and you just answer. Don't even think about it. Okay. okay? All right, I'm ready. Here we go. Don't even think. Don't even. I don't even want you to. Oh, I could have just answer. Okay. Okay. Here we go. What's your favorite color? Blue. Don't think about it. I'm asking you to just respond as soon as I ask you the question. Are you sure that's your final answer? Final Blue. Answer. Locked in. Okay. Is that why you're wearing that shirt? I think so. Did you know I was going to ask you that? I don't know. What's your favorite number? Seven. What's your favorite movie? Good Will Hunting. Donald Trump or Donald Duck? Donald Duck. Dogs or cats? Cats. Oh, I like that very much, by the way. Thank you so much for watching. You have been watching my interview with Robert Schultz. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for coming. Thank you.